What's going on guys? So this is my tarantula in 4K. Uh, check. One, two, check. one, two, yeah, 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 yeah. One of my favorite tarantulas in the whole collection. I've raised her from a sling. She's two years old and her name's Ramona Flowers. She's a Flokius rubicetta tarantula or red-haired tarantula. Actually, I got it from James Bindoff, Reptiles and Invertebrates, and I've bought heaps of species from him over the years. He's really looked after me. Now I'll put a link in the description to his website. If you want to get a tarantula, I do recommend it, but you gotta be quick sometimes. His tarantulas do sell out really fast. Man, look how sick that webbing is. Legit one of the best Aussie tarantulas for this. All right guys, so I'm gonna take her out of her enclosure and we're gonna set her down here so we can get some sick 4K shots. And while we're doing that, we're gonna clean out the enclosure, put some new substrate in, and then we're gonna put her back in and just let her web it up and make it her home again. So let's do it. So now she's in the top of the catch cup there. While we're getting some sick 4K shots, I'm going to clean out her enclosure. Alright, now to the bathroom. Now let's get a closer look at Ramona. Check out how long the hairs on her are. Fangs are all tucked in at the moment, but when she strikes at her prey, you can see how massive they are. Now there isn't a lot of information out there on the Flokius genus, and right now Australian tarantulas are still being discovered. The length of those spinnerets are much longer than my other tarantulas, probably why she's so good with her web design. Let's get the macro lens right up close so we can see those tiny hooks on the end of her feet. They allow her to climb walls and other surfaces. They literally grapple into the glass like a nail. All right guys, so we just finished up this enclosure. I'm pretty proud of it. I think we did pretty well. And in we go with Ramona. Alright guys, so now that she's down on the bottom of the enclosure, I'm just gonna manoeuvre this a little, little bit closer. Yeah. Alright, please cooperate for a moment. Yes, yes! Oh man, that had me on edge, she was just bolting slowly. Thank you Ramona for cooperating with me. And I hope you like your new enclosure. We're gonna leave her in here overnight and hopefully she webs up and does some cool stuff and we'll be back tomorrow. Check out how busy she was last night webbing it all up. You can see how sometimes she lays down this thick, strong web. Looks like nothing can get through. Then in other areas, the silk is wispy and thin. It's so cool to see the difference. and makes me wonder what the reason is all behind it. Obviously, she covers the floor in web so she can sense any vibrations from the prey. And then those thousands of hairs send that information back to her so she knows precisely where to attack. Out of every tarantula I have, her takedowns are so aggressive and so entertaining. So stay tuned for that because it's coming up. Thanks so much for watching my 4K episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you keep staying safe and I'll catch you in the next one.